Here we're going to factor negative 72x squared plus 84xy plus 60y squared. So when we're factoring, we have a lot that we need to keep track of. First thing we want to make sure is we factor out this leading negative. So we have a leading negative here, so we want to make sure we factor that out. Another thing we want to keep in mind is let's look at the variables x squared, x, y, y squared. So looking at the variables, I know I can't take anything out because like here I have x squared and x but then I don't have an X in the third term. Then here I have Y squared and Y, but I don't have a Y in the first term. So I can't take out a Y. So now I'm just looking at the leading negative has to come out. And then I'm looking at 72, 84, and 60. So I got to find a GCF amongst those three terms. And if you're ever in a situation where you don't really want to spend a whole lot of time, like you just divide, like go to your calculator and just divide everything by two. And then maybe you can start to see some sort of pattern. But looking at these three numbers, 60, I know I can divide 60 by 12, and if you're not good with your multiplication facts, just like think to yourself, all right, well, I know 12 times 5 is 60. Can I do 12 into 72, 12 and 84? So if I do 84 divided by 12, that's 7. 72 divided by 12, that's 6. Like, okay, so I could take out a 12, and then that's going to be a negative 12. So there you go. So I could take out a negative 12 from all three of these terms. So when I'm factoring, when I take out that GCF, I want to divide each term by what I'm factoring out. So I'm doing negative 72 divided by negative 12, which is going to be a positive 6x squared. And then I have 12 or 84 divided by negative 12, which is going to be uh, a negative 7 because we're doing positive divided by negative. So negative 7xy plus... And then we have 60 divided by negative 12, which is going to be negative, or what should be negative 5, so minus 5, y squared, because we did positive, positive divided by negative. All right, so we have at least the GCF factored out. Now, we're not out of the woods completely. Because I have a trinomial, I could potentially factor this. Now, not every single trinomial is factorable. We would then have to use like quadratic formula or something like that. But let's just check. If the question is asking us to factor, then if this doesn't factor where we have to go to quadratic formula, then we'd be done. But we, I'm not just mental math here. I, I, I think that we could probably factor this, but if it, it doesn't hurt to just try some things out. So what we're looking for when we are factoring this is I want to use AC method. So a C method is taking this A term times the C term. And then what you want is you want two numbers that multiply to that term and add up to the middle term of negative seven. And then there's a little bit of a process that goes from there. You could do some guess and check where guess and check would look like this, where we'd have to have, uh, this would be X and X. And then the last terms would have to have Y's because this is X, Y, and this is Y. And then you'd have to literally just guess and check. So you'd guess like, all right, you need a six and two. We'll multiply into five. Like uh, you got to mess around with the numbers a little bit. But I don't really, I'm not a big fan of that method, to be honest. I really, I'm really not because it could, you could take a while. So I like to do the AC method where I multiply two numbers and multiply to negative 30 and add to a negative seven. So that would be negative 10 and three. So negative 10 times three is negative 30. Negative 10 plus 3 is negative 7. So, wow, there you go. Because I want two numbers that multiply to a negative 30, add up to a negative 7. So, 10 and 3 is negative 30. Negative 10 plus 3 is negative 7. So, since I got the numbers, so here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to bring down 6x squared. I'm going to bring down minus 5y squared. And then this is minus 10xy plus 3xy. So I'm replacing that middle term with my two factors that works, negative 10 and 3. And then from here, we can factor by grouping. So I'm going to ignore the negative 12 for a second here. I'm going to factor by grouping. So I'm going to group the first two, group the second two. So from the first two, I could factor out a 2x, leaving me, so I'm dividing each of these two terms by 2x, leaving me with 3x minus 5y. And then from the second set of parentheses, 3xy minus 5y squared, I could factor out y. So 3x minus 5y. So all I'm doing is just taking out that variable. So what you should notice then is, look at that. 3x minus 5y is in both parentheses. So that means I'm going to have this as 3x minus 5y 
times 2x plus y, and then we bring down that negative 12. So now it is factored. And you can see that it's probably, like, if I go back to the first step here when I'm factoring this trinomial, it's not the hardest thing in the world to factor by uh, guess and check. But you could get into a little bit of a mess because we want these first two numbers to multiply to 6, where we want the last number to multiply to 5, where we want a specific combination to add up then to negative 7. So you could be playing around with the signs for a while. You could be trying, like, uh, this could be 6 and 1, 5. Like, it just, it could take a while. So I like to use this AC method because it's efficient in most cases, and you're going to get to an answer within a certain amount of time rather than potentially spending a lot of extra time trying to go through all the factors. So when the question asks us to factor, I took out the GCF of negative 12. I then created this trinomial, which could be factored further. So then I use AC method, which uh, I brought down 6x squared, replaced the middle term with my two factors that worked. 10 and 3, negative 10 and 3, and uh, the xy for both terms is because this middle term was negative 7xy, because what we want our middle term to do is we want it to add up to negative 7xy. So I want it to be uh, negative 10xy plus 3xy, because negative 10xy plus 3xy is negative 7xy. Bring down the negative 5y squared, factor by grouping, GCF, and then what ends up happening is we end up with the same thing in parentheses here, 3x minus 5y. So you just write it as one term because you're factoring that out, and then 2x plus y. And then there's our answer.